Good evening everyone. So welcome back to the new lab session of Excel. So in this lab we'll see that sometimes suppose you get uh, a situation where you have to either let's say multiply or add or divide or subtract the value of columns with the values of rows. Okay. So suppose if i write here in this f column let's say if i write say 20 20 30 40 and 50 and let's say in this g column and fourth row this is the fourth row if i write here let's say 10 20 30 40 any number you can write here and 50 now in this cell i want to display the multiplication of this value into this value similarly in this cell i want to display the value of 20 into 10 similarly in this cell i want to display the value of 30 into 10 similarly here i want to display the multiplication of 20 into 30 similarly in this cell i want to display the multiplication of 40 into 50 okay here so how to do it let me increase the font and make it bold so that it will be very easy to see now you see this is known as fourth row and the values are present in different column that is g h i j k okay that means here in this case the row is fixed but the column is changing okay but in this case let me change the color uh, give me this color so here you can see the column is fixed but the rows are changing okay so in this case just uh, let me write let's say row is fixed but column changes column is changing okay you can see here and in this case let's say let me write here um, just make it yellow color so that you can identify uh, let me change the color let's say this color and here in this case the column is fixed but row is changing okay so just let me do formatting So you see here just a minute uh, let me increase the size you can see here okay now just no issue that will be fine So see in this case the column is fixed that is f is fixed but the row is changing so you see the address of this 10 cell is f5 you see here f5 similarly this cell it is f6 this cell f7 this cell f8 
this cell f9 but here you see the cell is g4 but this cell is h4 this cell is i4 and this cell is j4 and this cell is let's say k4 so here the row is fixed column is changing here the column is fixed row is changing okay so suppose if i want to multiply this two number you can fix the column cell or here fix the row cell okay so how to fix it i can write the formula that is equal to let's say if i make if i take this cell so by default it is coming f5 if i choose this it is f6 or if i choose this it is f7 so i know that here the column is fixed but the row is changing so for that i can instead of f5 directly i can simply use dollar and i know that my column is uh, fixed so i can fix the column f as dollar f. okay now what is the row number that is 5 so i can use here five. you see now suppose if i want to multiply i can use the multiplication and now if i want to multiply with this cell that is g10 uh, sorry g4 so here i know that the row is fixed but the column is changing so if the row is fixed that means my column should be variable but the row is fixed that means i have to write dollar and that's the four okay similarly if i go here it is c just a minute so you see here if i change to let's say five the value will be g sorry five this is h4 h dollar four you see this 20 value is selecting okay now suppose if i make it let's say g4 sorry g4 i have to write here that is g4 you see so if you write like this that means you have selected the f column row 5 value and g column row 4 value now if i press enter you'll see the multiplication of 10 and 10 is 100 similarly if i simply drag it here it will automatically take the reference of this value that is 20 into 10 you see here if i just drag it it is 200 and you see the formula here that is my f column is fixed but row is changed similarly here the column h is change and row is fixed okay similarly if i drag it again here it will display 10 into 30 that is 300 similarly this 400 similarly 500 now if i select this and if i drag it down it is automatically use the formula you see here f6 that means the column is fixed but the row has changed that is six number row but in this case but in this case you see the column is fixed that is g and the row is O oh, that is 10. You see here. So here the column is fixed and here the row is fixed. 
Similarly, if I drag it here, it will display 400. Similarly, if I drag it here, it is 600. If I drag it here, it is 800. If I drag it here, it will be 1000. That is 50 into 20. So, simply you can drag it down. You will get the result. That is 50 into 10. That is 500. And if I, let's say, drag it here, it will display a multiplication. Similarly, if I drag it here, it will display. Similarly, if I drag it here, it will display. So you can see by writing a single formula, you can do the multiplication of just a minute. Okay, just let me just write it. Okay. So you can just you have just written a simple simple formula and you can multiply the value of row with columns so always keep in mind that if i if you want to here or any cell if you want to do any arithmetical operation and if you want to do uh, if you want to fix a particular column or row so if you want to fix a row so before row you have to press a dollar symbol or if you want to fix a column value so before the column you have to use the dollar symbol okay so whenever you select any cell it will start with the column followed by the row so suppose if i choose this cell so the address of this cell is c3 not 3c okay you see here the address is c3 if i choose let's say this cell so the address of this cell is first the column followed by row value so n n8 so address of this cell is n8 okay if i choose this cell address is c6 if i choose this cell this is address is d4 so probably this formula will help you a lot so in my uh, upcoming video using this formula we can see that how to find duplicate number in a column okay so try to practice it and if you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. So, thank you very much.